Here we have it. Here we have the Mac Mini, unboxed and ready to go. I have already installed it the first time and we're just going to put in the cables and get a few games tested. We have the slot loading drive, the little bolt down there, pulsing when it's running. And behind here we have all the ports. We have five USB 2.0 ports. Audio out and in, and we got some uh, room for the fan here. We got the power, the Gigabit Ethernet, Firewire 800, the Mini DVI, and the Mini Display Port, and of course the power button. So let's get this plugged in. We'll just start by putting all on my peripherals here. So we're just going to put the Mac Mini right here. And the first thing here is going to be my keyboard. Right in here, just there. And then I'm going to plug in my mouse here. Very, very easy, no big here. And then I have this, that's for my screen. And uh, in the video, in the slides, uh, uh, sorry, in the pictures of the unboxing, I show that this little cable here comes with it. That's the mini, uh, mini DVI to DVI connector. And I have heard from a store here in Denmark that these uh, don't support the digital, uh, sorry, analog signals for the VGA. So I had my Mac delivered with one of these uh, VGA. So we're just going to use this instead. Delivers great picture anyway. And we'll just put that in here and with this little symbol here up, right in there. Then I have a little USB thing more here. That's for this one over here, so I can I don't have to go to the back of my Mac every time. And because some of my USB pen drives are a bit big, and this for the video camera. Then I had an audio cable here somewhere. Fall down here in the mess. I'm sorry, but it went quite quick here. Right in here in the headphone jack. And then we have two more things. I have a little FireWire hard drive, I'm sorry for the orange cable, but the Mac Mini, as you know, don't have any FireWire 400, so I'm going to have to use this FireWire 800. And as you can see, that looks a bit different if you have been using FireWire 400. So we'll just put it in here, there. Then we have some power here, oh, I'll wait with that for last, and we we'll of course need some internet here, there. And then lastly, the power there. Quite easy. So let's get this little one boot up. So I'll just push the power button around here. There it was. And it's booting. Let's get my cable cleaned up here. And now it's running. It'll just take a second to boot up. So I'll continue the video when I have gotten it booted up. So, now we have the Mac Mini booted up here, so let's get going with a couple of games. We're going to start with Flat Out 2 here, so let's just get it launched. Uh, unfortunately, this version of Flat Out 2 don't show this little configuration dialog, so you're just going to have to take my word for it. Uh, this game runs in 1024x786 pixels. So it's a little less than 17 inch monitor can use. And uh, I'm using full graphics, everything that I can. I'm not using any anti-aliasing. I'll just go in here into my options and here we should have nothing at all. <laughs> okay, sorry. Here, texture quality, ah, quality, very high. So. Let's just uh, have a little race in this game here, uh, so you can watch my rotten racing here. So let's just get going. Let's go. And of course, if you know this game, you're just likely to get it. Uh, you know, if you don't know this game, you're likely to get it, sorry. Because this is cool. Look at how everything around me here just falls apart when I drive through it here. Just look at the graphics, it's it's stunning. Oops. And look, the Mac Mini is not even breaking a sweat yet. No lag here. 
So, people who said that the Mac Mini is not meant for gaming, well, they're wrong. Look at this. Normally I win this race, but today I'm just going to demonstrate how the graphic works. So, before you get bored, let's just get on here. Let's look at everything here. We'll just drive a second round so you can see all the, all the mess I've been doing here. Just file a little into O here in a minute. You'll see the nice effects there. There, very nice effects. And the Mac Mini is not even breaking a sweat, and I'm still driving like shit. Just put a little more sound on here. not breaking a sweat. I'm trying running this in the full 17 inch uh, resolution. I guess you can do the left to find out what it is. And there it starts lagging a little bit. So uh, you'll have to sacrifice a little resolution to get it running this beautiful. But this is running beautiful. So let's get on to the next game and let's just quit this here. So the next game is going to be Call of Duty. That's going to be a little bit more rough for this Mac Mini to run because the Call of Duty 4 actually requires everything the processor in this system has to offer. Uh, I only have 2 GHz model here and that's exactly what the Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare requires. I have 4 GB DDR3 memory inside of it, so there is plenty of memory in it. Um, but as you can see here, I'm running 800 times 600 pixels, and I'm running everything here in low. No anti-aliasing, no glow, no nothing. Everything here in texture is low, there is nothing up there. So, this is really low. The loading times, though, are very, very fast. Um, the game runs okay, but the graphics are not that good. I haven't been playing this though much, so I'm not so far in the game yet. But as you can see here, the graphics are not as stunning as before. And I obviously don't like any of these assholes. Oops, can't say that. Okay. Oh. Well, these images are quite dark, I'm sorry, but uh, that give you, give, gives you a little feeling of how this game runs on the Mac. Uh, great game, by the way. Tango down. Report. There it is. Roger that. So, that's a little demonstration of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. So, let's just get on before you get bored. This is not so interesting watching at. Uh, there's not so many things in this game that's worth looking at. So, let's have a little look at The Sims 2. Um, I don't really know why, but this game doesn't support the graphics in this Mac Mini here. It's uh, This game is not performing very well. I've seen better, that's for sure. Well, for those of you who play The Sims 2, you'll know that this takes some time to load in. Um, so I'll just uh, cut the video and return when it's done loading. But as you can see, yeah, that's not so slow at all anyway. So 